Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to transform quadratic function from standard form to vertex form. So we have here two different forms na may encounter nyo when we talk about quadratic function. Una yung standard form. Clarify ko lang ha. In other references, they are treating the standard form as the general form. Okay? So here it is. We have f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Or we can also represent the standard form as y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. While the vertex form, yung pinaka for purpose ito is para mas madali natin ma-identify yung vertex ng isang quadratic function, is that we have f of x is equal to a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k or y is equal to a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k. So again, yung h natin at k, sila yung coordinates ng ating vertex, which is h comma k, na kung saan may encounter nyo sa graphing of quadratic functions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here example number 1, and the given direction here is transform the following function into the form y is equal to a times x minus h plus k. Again, we are asked to transform the given quadratic functions in vertex form. So, I will show you two different ways on how to do it. One is the conventional way and the other is the shortcut way. So, let's start with this one. We have y is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 22. The first step is to transform or transpose 22 to the other side of the equation. So our new equation will be y minus 22 is equal to x squared minus 10x. Now, ang next step natin dito is for us to complete the square of this part of the equation. So mangyayari dito, mag-create tayo ng panibagong space. So you have y minus 22 plus blank is equal to x squared minus 10x plus blank. Again, sir, but meron tayong blank? Kasi ang purpose niyan ay magkukomplete yung square tayo dito. So, paano ba natin ilagay yung mga number or ano yung number na ilagay natin sa both sides of the equation? You need to get the coefficient of your variable x, which is negative 10. Again, eh, this is your quadratic term. This is your linear term. Kunin mo yung coefficient ng linear term mo, which is negative 10. Then divided by 2. That is negative 5. At square mo lang yung kanilang quotient, that is 25. Yung 25, siya yung mapupunta rito. At dito. Okay? So you have your plus 25 at plus 25. As you can see, ito ay isa ng perfect square trinomial. So ang gagawin mo ngayon dyan is you need to factor it out at gawin mong square of binomial wherein you can represent it as x minus 5 squared. Bakit siya naging x minus 5 squared? Kunin mo yung square root ito, siya yung x. And the square root of 25 that is 5. Ngayon, sir, bakit negative? Kasi copy mo yung sign ito para maging minus siya. Ngayon yung pattern natin. So again, the factors of x squared minus 10x plus 25 is the quantity of x minus 5 squared. And then itong right side naman, itong left side naman, rather, simplify natin. You have y at yung negative 22 plus 25 is plus 3. And remember, Ang uh, sinusundan natin pattern is y is equal to a times x minus h plus k. Wherein, itong 3 na to dapat itranspose natin sa kabila. So, magiging y is equal to the quantity of x minus 5 squared. At yung transpose natin na positive 3 sa kabila, magiging 
negative 3 or minus 3. This is the vertex form of the given quadratic function na meron tayo. Okay? So, sige. Sulitin na rin natin. Identify na rin natin yung ating vertex, which is h, comma, k. So, dito, para makuha mo yung h, i-reverse mo lang yung negative 5 or kunin mo yung kanyang additive inverse, which is 5. Kasi negative yan, gawin mong positive. And then, itong k natin, as is na lang yan, copy mo siya, which is negative 3. Okay? Sa yung kanyang vertex. So, ngayon naman, yung next part natin dito is I will show you the shortcut weight on how to do it. Meron tayong formula to get the value of h, which is negative b all over 2a. Tapos yung k naman natin is simply f of h. So, dito, given the original function, so, original function natin, the value of a is equal to 1. Dito siya nang galing. Yung b mo naman is equal to negative 10. So, para po na mong kukunin is yung h natin. h is equal to negative b. So, negative muna. Eh, yung b mo is negative 10. So, you have times negative 10. Over 2 times your a which is 1. Simplify mo lang. h is equal to 10 over 2. So, that is equal to 5. Ito yung h mo. Okay? Next, eh, sir, what if, ah, paano naman kunin yung k? Your k is simply, ito, f of h mo. Copy mo to. Yung original part ng function. You have x squared minus 10x plus 22. Tapos, i-input mo lang to bilang value ng x. Lahat ng x ay gagawin mong 5. So, you have k is equal to 5 squared minus 10 times 5 plus 22. Simplify mo lang. This is 25 minus 50 plus 22. Simplify natin. This is negative 50 plus 47 and your k is equal to negative 3. Ngayon, following this pattern, pag pinalo nyo yan, you have y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So dito, copy mo yung y. Yung a mo since 1, wag mo na isulat. Well, sige, sulat na rin natin. H at yung K mo, yung H mo is equal to 5. So, lagay mo rin itong minus 5. Lagay mo minus as 5 squared. And then, yung K mo is negative 3. So, minus 3. Erase natin yung 1. Kasi, 1 na naman siya. And this is your vertex form. As you can see, pare sila. Okay? So, let's move on with item number 2. So, dito, ang ipapakita ko na lang ay yung conventional way on how to do it. Una, transpose natin yung 5 sa kabila. This will become y minus 5 is equal to 2x squared minus 4x. Right after transposing 5 to the other side, tandaan na magiging negative siya or magbabago siya ng sign. Itong copy natin itong left side. Itong right side natin, as you can see, common yung 2 sa 2 and negative 4. So you can factor it out as 2 times x squared minus 2x. Okay? Tanga ba tayo? Double check nyo na lang. Now, as you can see, anong sunod natin gagawin dito? Ang gagawin natin is we need to complete the square. Okay? Dito, Magalat, magalat tayo ng space minus 5 plus blank is equal to 2 times x squared minus 2x plus blank. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin? Kunin mo yung coefficient ito ng iyong linear term which is negative 2. So, you have negative 2 divide mo lagi sa 2 to complete the square. You have 
negative 1. And then squaring quotient, it will give you 1 as the answer. So magiging 1 ito. And sir, how about the other side? So sa kabilang side naman, ang gagawin mo dyan is that itong sign na ito, tandaan na, yung magiging sagot mo rito, dapat meron kang times 2. Saan ang galing times 2? Kasi meron ka rin itong 2 sa labas. Kung ano yung value ng A sa labas, yun ang ilalagay mo rito. Times 1. Para maging balance siya. So, simplify natin siya. Y minus 5 plus 2 is equal to 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. Again, saan ang galing itong part na to? Di ba meron kang factor out na value ng A? Siya yung nilalagay mo dyan. And then multiply mo siya kung ano yung naging sagot ng completing the square mo, yung value ng C mo. So, simplify natin. You have y minus 3 is equal to 2. Ito naman, gawin mo square of binomial times magiging ano siya, x minus 1 squared. Okay? So, next natin gagawin dito. So, yun si okay na siya dito sa right side. I-transpose mo na lang dito si negative 3. So, your new equation will be y is equal to 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 3. Ito na ngayon yung vertex form ng ating quadratic equation. So, kung narin natin yung ating h and k, yung ating vertex ay 1, 3. So, I hope na sa ating tutorial video, natutunan nyo on how to transform a quadratic function from standard form to vertex form. So, again, kung bago lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Tito Chukon. Maraming salamat. Bye-bye!